I got a request to talk about dialogues and alerts. So here is a video where I will talk about alerts, snack bars and toasts. Stay tuned. Hi and welcome to a new .NET MAUI video. And in this video I will not sing as in my previous one. Today I will talk about dialogues alerts, snack bars and toast, because I got a request for that. So if you have something you want me to cover, send me a tweet or a comment below and I will do my best to make a video about it. But as I say, today I will talk about alerts and what .NET MAUI offers you in the box, but I also will show you snack bar and toast from the MAUI Community Toolkit. So let's start an open Visual Studio. So here we have Visual Studio. I've started to create an app. It's just four buttons and we will use them to implement different type of alerts and dialogues. So right now the app will just look like this. The .NET bot and the four buttons. So let's go to the code behind and write some code. So here the first on alert async and on all maui pages you can use this play alert and that's a method that are in the base clauses so here you can have a title a message and what text it should be on the cancel button so let's try this so the title can be hello uh, the message can be hello let's go to Maui then the cancel button can be just OK and we add an await here and now we can run this so let's press the alert button yeah here we have the native alert dialog so so if we want to have more buttons like for example a confirm dialog that is also pretty easy so we can copy this here and we can see here that we have more options. Uh, we also have a flow direction, so, but we can go here and add another string, one for accept and one for cancel. So let's say yes, no, and then we add a question mark here instead. And then we can have a result variable. And here we can do if result is true, then we can just show a message. Hello, welcome. It will be nice to see you on Maui. Okay, let's run this too. So here, let's press confirm alert hello let's go to Maui no no dialogue and yes yeah here we have it so that is very very simple to do those simple alerts and it's in the box if you want to do some more advanced stuff we can use community toolkit for .NET Maui and then we can have a snack bar and toasts so I will show you that also, so we can start with toast even if it's below the snack bar button. So we go to the on toast click button and then we do like this var toast is toast dot make and we will create an i toast with that. So here we can add a message hello. Uh, we can set the duration toast duration short or long. And we can also set a text size. So let's have a long one here. So, and now we have created a toast and now we need to show it. So toast dot show. And here we also can send a cancellation token if we want to do that, but that is not necessary. And we add a wait like this. And now we can run this too. So now we click the toast button and we have a small toast below here. And it will disappear by itself. 
But if we want to customize this a bit more, we can instead use a snack bar. Then we go here and then we can use var snack bar is snack bar dot make the same pattern as with the toast. And here we can see you can send a message, we can add an action. Uh, and that action is what would happen when we click on it. So let's say just hello again. Uh, make an action. And we can have a title like message. Snack bar tapped. And then just OK. OK. And the next one is the action button text for the snack bar. So we can have just uh, tap me. And we can set the duration. And we can also add some snack bar options. So we do that. We do like this visual options, new snack bar options. And here we can do some customization like action button font, text color, background color, corner radius, font, and text color. So let's set a background color that is of the type color. And we can use from RGB and we can make it red. Like that. And the text color should be color dot from a RGB, uh, white for example. And then we set action button text color. Color from RGB and we can make that one black. Okay. And now we can show this snack bar dot show. And also here we can have a cancellation token if we want to. Okay, let's try to run this. So let's press the snack bar option. And here it is, and tap me, and snack bar tapped. Yeah, just like that. Another thing we can do with the snack bar is that we can add an anchor. For example, we want the snack bar to be close to the .NET bot. We can do that just by give this image name. We already have a name bot. And then we can go here. We can say anchor bot and pass the bot object. And this red text is just some Visual Studio Intelligence bug. So let's see if it have moved now. So let's try to press the snack bar button. And now the snack bar is here instead at the bottom. So one last thing to do before we end this video. We should try and run this on Android too. Okay, now the app have started on Android. So let's try all the buttons. Alert. Yep, hello, let's go to Maui. Confirm alert. Hello, let's go to Maui. Yes, of course. And the snack bar. Here it is. Tap me. Snack bar tapped. And the toast. Yeah, everything works. So, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Because there will be a lot of more videos about .NET Maui. And there will also be live streams. So, see you there. Bye-bye.